Hey, welcome back to Tibela's kitchen. I'll take you through what I used very quickly. I'm so sorry I mixed everything at once before letting you see, but then next video, promise, we will all mix everything together. So I miss, I used two eggs, one banana, baking powder, yeast, salt, milk powder, sugar, all-purpose flour, cardamom, milk, and I like using this margarine, blue band, so you can use any margarine you want or butter. You can use it to work so well. So what I did first, I mixed all the dried ingredients together. Two cups of flour. Sorry, I used three cups of flour. Half cup of sugar. One teaspoon of cinnamon. One tablespoon of baking powder. One teaspoon of yeast salt cardamom you can use as you please so i mix all of them together and in a separate bowl i mixed two eggs banana the blue band my margarine i made it hot fast in a microwave so i mix together with the liquids then milk after i finished whisking the liquid i mixed i combined them in the dried with the dried ingredients and then made a dough a very good dough so i'm mixing my dough i left it for 30 minutes or even more you can leave it for one hour two hours it depends with you the longer you leave it the better the results for it for the baking powder and the yeast to react so right now i'm going to spread it and start cutting it to small pieces you can cut in rectangular square round triangle whichever way you please as for today we'll be cutting them in rectangle rectangular or square shape i will let my oil eat as i go to spread my dough we let the oil eat once it's it's ill it, once it eats i will start putting my mud amanda you have to wait for it to stop making that sound once it cools that's the time you put in your after mandazis. spreading our dough into desirable size not too thin otherwise it will become crunchy and not too fat for us not to have a lot of um, meat inside so like this i'll be cutting them into i will cut them into rectangular so i use this i like using this because it's like pizza cutter can just go around so this is how we do it okay, so like this so you continue cutting them, continue cutting, yes, like this, see how it comes so nicely. So after them into squares and rectangular, I just put some my oil, it's pretty enough. Once it cools down, we we'll start dipping our mandarin. Okay. I cook them. You keep um threading oil onto them, see how they are puffing up. So good. So this is how we do it. So once it's golden brown, you turn around, turn them. I like this color. I don't like that brown, which is like my mandazis are not well cooked. This is how I do it. Till it's ready. This is the end product of our mandazis. So, this is how they look like very soft. So sweet. I'm just going to cut one for you so that you can see how it looks how it looks like. Yeah, so this is your end product of your mandazis. Enjoy. You can have it with tea, juice, as a snack, as you please. See you in the next season and thank you for watching. Share if you like. Thank you.